Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a simple scene to create sort of a horizontal crawl or have the text scroll across the screen horizontally. Uh, I'm going to basically be using a scroll rect, a masking component, and obviously a text mesh pro text object. So right now I'm using Unity 5.0 and if I take a look at the scene, we've got a canvas that is set to a screen space overlay, but it could be any other mode. Then I have a child and image component uh, that I've set up with you know, different dimensions on screen. Uh, I've added a scroll rec component to it. Uh, and as a child of this image, I have a text mesh project, which I have associated here as the content for the scroll rec. Since we're interested in horizontal scrolling, I selected the horizontal scrolling here. In terms of the movement type, I selected unrestricted, but it doesn't really matter which one you pick. You know, it's up to, to you and, and what you're trying to accomplish. And then I have a masking component attached here, which is currently disabled so I can show you the entire text object. Now, if we take a look at the text mesh pro object here, we can see that the text, um, you know, if I enable the masking real quick, you can see that this is the area of where the text will be visible. So let me disable the mask. But obviously the text is much longer than the visible area itself. So if I select the text mesh pro object, we can see that the rect transform uh, is of the width of the text itself. Now, what I've got attached to this text mesh pro object is a content size fitter which is set in terms of our horizontal fit to preferred size. So if I was to go here and change this is, oops, is an example of text, you know, I won't type the whole thing, but you can see how the rec transform adjusts automatically as I type more text, okay? So this is how you would get the rec transform to automatically adjust to the length or the width of the new content. So let's go back and enable the masking uh, component right here. Um, and actually, before I run this, just want to go over a few things. Um, there's nothing you need. Once you apply a masking component, Unity uh, uses a stencil mask. So as soon as you put this component on it and there's a child text mesh pro object, it will be automatically detected. Text Mesh Pro will create an instance of the material for masking, set the masking ID for the stencil automatically. You don't need to do anything with these overflow modes um, because again, the whole point of masking is you know you have text that is wider than what's gonna be displayed and you're just gonna scroll through it. So you don't wanna truncate or do ellipses on the content that's masked, it's sort of you know, it doesn't make sense. There is additional uh, masking modes here in scroll rec. Those are for soft masking and some other stuff. So right now, don't worry about these in, in the context of this example. So as far as what we're concerned right now in achieving the horizontal scrolling using the scroll rec and the masking component, you basically replicate the setup that I've got here, slap the content size fitter on it, and that's basically it. Um, since we're only interested in a single line of text scrolling, uh, the word wrapping right here is disabled because we've only got one line, okay? Uh, so let's go back, enable our masking, and it is. Let's switch to game view and enter play mode so we can take a look at this. So right now with my mouse, I can control, obviously, and scroll the content through uh, the masked area itself. And let's go back to the scene view so you can see what's going on. I'll take my game view and put it on the other screen and I'll drag it on the other screen so you can see, actually, let me select the object here, but you can see how the scroll rect is actually moving the whole rect transform. So in this case, it requires, you know, a human interaction to drag uh, the content through the scroll rect. If you didn't want human interaction, well, instead of using the scroll rect component, all you need really is the masking, you could have a script that controls uh, the location of the rec transform and just has it, you know, scroll by left to right. And you could get fancy where as the, the rec transform would exit this region, you'd have it, you know, magically reappear on the backside to keep scrolling through the whole thing. So the content, if I go back here with my mouse, uh, actually, so the content would start here and then you'd have your script, have it scroll all the way across. And when it gets here, you'd have it magically wrap back over here so it scrolls through it again. And that's how you do like a news feed or something of that nature. So that's 
basically it for this uh, short little video. Um, hopefully this answered uh, your questions uh, or was informative for you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post and thank you for watching.